Hey everybody, JT's Reborn here, and welcome to another edition of After the Movie. I'm actually recording this before I go see uh, Insidious 4, um, The uh, Last Key, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect with that one, but I recorded this in the parking lot right before I go see uh, that one, because I watched the movie last night, but it was about like 2 in the morning when I finished watching like the first three movies, and I was like super tired, so I'm like, you know what, I'll just record it when I go see the next one tomorrow, so it's like you know, like 11 o'clock or something in the morning, or no, 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 it's like 11.30, because my movie starts in like 15 minutes, but anyways, I just wanted to record this before I, uh, before I head out and, uh, get there, so anyways, blah, 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 let's talk about Insidious Chapter 3, so Insidious Chapter 3 is a prequel to the first two films, it's actually, like, chronologically, it's pretty much the first movie, although, from what I heard about the fourth movie, it definitely goes back, but we'll see, but anyways, so, Insidious Chapter 3, this one, it doesn't have the Lambert family in it. It's basically Lynn Shay is the star, and she's awesome in it. Like, this is the first time she meets Specs and Tucker. We see her help some girl named Quinn, who's just been, gets the shit kicked out of her in this movie by the uh, various entities. And basically, in this one, Elise is kind of like a, she's, she's still up for kind of helping people, but she's kind of like put that life behind her a bit because it's just like no it's just not working out for me it's it's too much to handle like every time I go out there like something I feel like is going to kill me so in this one we get the main villain who is the um man in the, who can't breathe he wears like this gas mask or whatever and he's kind of eerie he's kind of creepy looking but he doesn't leave like the impact of say like Parker Crane from 2 or Darth Maul in 1 and you know, he's an okay, like, Insidious Chapter 3, I think, is a better movie than the first two, it's not necessarily scarier, it doesn't have, like, as intense of scenes, but in terms of, like, you know, having more depth to it, I definitely feel like, uh, the girl who played Quinn was a pretty good lead, uh, you have her father, who's like, I got my whoop ass, this is my whoop ass face, boy, so, like, that's kind of neat, but, like, you definitely have the sense of family and unity in this one, and, you know, Lynn Shay is awesome, like, there's a part where she fights, um, Parker Crane, like, in the world of the further, and she's just like, come at me, bitch, and she, like, you know, like, puts the thing to shame, and that's pretty awesome, like, I just think, like, it's cool how Lynn Shay, you know, especially up in her age, is, like, 70-something, is, you know, out there kicking ass in these movies, I think, I think that's pretty awesome, um, what else to say, like, she's definitely, like, the end of this movie, um, she's with, she's at her house, and she sees kind of something silhouetted away, and she thinks it's her husband, like, that's another thing, she, like, she tried to contact her husband, and, you know, that's kind of, like, let things know that she's out there, and she's kind of, like I said, that's what kind of draws her to, like, be kind of, like, a recluse, not necessarily wanting to do this anymore, and I think she's, like, you definitely see her, like, go through this arc where she's, you know, kind of hesitant to help, and then by the end, she's like, you know what, I'm, I, this is gonna be my business now, like, and then she, like, you know, eventually meets Specs and Tucker, and Spikes and Tucker, I feel like with each movie, they get less and less funny and kind of more cringeworthy. I don't know why that is, but, like, it's just definitely, like, each one. I'm sure the fourth one's probably gonna be, like, the same deal. But, yeah, like, it's kind of neat to see how they all, like, came together and, like, formed a team. And I feel like after this next movie, I hope that we see, like, a follow-up to, like, the events of two where she's just there, and she's like, oh my god, and she's just, like, you never see what it is, but then again, like, the unknown kind of makes it scarier, I want, I want to follow up to that, I'm kind of tired of, like, the whole, like, prequel thing, because I'm like, we don't, let's, let's move the story forward, we've gone, we've already done the prequel stuff, but, like, I want to see a follow-up to it, so, that's kind of where I'm at on the boat with this one, but this one is pretty good, it's well acted, it's well shot, Lane directed this one, he writes all the movies, and, um, I definitely liked it, I kind of wish James Wan would have directed it, but you know, James Wan, he's a busy man, he's got this Conjuring movie, he's got like Aquaman, and all that he was working on, he's got, he had like Furious 7, and he just can't, he can't, unfortunately he can't direct every horror movie, um, cause he's, he's the master at suspense, like he's, he's the best at it, like I don't know anyone else who can make anything like, legitimately like scary and creepy like he can, at least in today's horror world, like in terms of like mainstream horror movies, he definitely brought back the scares to him, and I, I gotta commend James Wan for that, and I gotta commend Leigh Whannell, too, for his work on the, like, the third movie, like, I mean, nothing's particularly scary, but you definitely feel for this girl, where she, you know, 
the uh, the entities are after her, and like she at one point in the movie, like James Wan does make a cameo, and then she this girl Quinn she gets hit by this car, and I'm like, what the hell? And like it was kind of a funny moment, but like it's it's one of those like guilty laugh type moments, and then she ends up getting put in like you know some brace, but like you d you definitely feel like she's really helpless in this one, and you know I gotta like I I definitely feel like that made me root for her a bit more. And, you know, she's got a brother in that, too. And I just I just liked Insidious Chapter 3. It's not as good as the first movie, but I do feel like it's better than the second one, if that makes sense. So, yep, I feel like I've talked on long enough. I'm going to go see uh, 4 now, And but by the time I upload all of these, I'll upload them all at once. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of Insidious Chapter 3 and the series as a whole. I hope to hear from you soon. So here's to the Insidious series. Peace out.